Hey guys, it's Chen with Pinkwood again, and today I'm going to show you how to do a do-it-yourself arm knitting blanket. Um, what you're going to need are three skeins of yarn this time, and the one that I'm using for this blanket is the Lion brand. It is a, uh, a bulky five, and the color is Rococo. So, um, three of these to make one beautiful blanket, and stay tuned and I'm going to show you all the steps on how I got this done. See you in a minute. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our three ends of yarn and we're going to stretch it out about 10 feet. Okay, and after we have that done, we're going to create our slip knot. All right, and you want to make sure that this is loose on your arm. So, to get started, we're going to go ahead and create our first stitch and go under, over, and then through that loop. So now we have two. Under, over, and through. This is the same way that you make uh, your scarves, but we're going to be doing a lot more because we're going to make us a nice blanket. This is actually going to be for my mom, whose birthday was the other day. So under, then over, and through, and create that loop. And for this we're going to do about 30 stitches, so we're going to have a while. So you want to make sure these are loose because you're going to have to work these all the way up your arm. Okay. And under, then go over, and through. So my last video, you couldn't really tell what I was doing very easily, so thought this camera angle would help you see exactly how we create these stitches. Alright, so I'm going to keep creating my links and then I will be back in just a second. So hang on. Okay, so now you should have a nice arm full of your first links, okay? So you're going to take your working yarn and just kind of put it to the side because you're not going to, um, this is the working yarn right here is actually what you're going to use. The tail, the leftover tail, just kind of put that to the side because you won't need that anymore. So you're going to grab your working yarn in your hand, take one of your chains with your three links, create that loop, put your arm through the loop, and tighten slightly. And grab your working yarn back in your hand, take your next chain, create a loop, and put your arm through. So grab your working yarn, your next link, it creates a loop, and put your hand through the loop. And remember we have 30 of these, so this will take us probably about an hour or so to do. Alright, so grab your working yarn, remove your length, create a loop, put your arm through that loop. Working yarn, take your link, make your loop, and put it back through. And you can see I'm not tightening too much, I'm trying to keep enough space in here so this can work way back up my arm. So we've got 30 links on here now. 30 stitches, I should say. <clears throat> so this may take us a little while longer. Alright, so I'm going to keep working on this. And then I'll be back in just a few minutes to see, to show you just a little bit further how I'm moving along.
Okay, so we're back and it's been about an hour and I have a nice good size blanket here that I have made. So now we're going to bind off. So we're going to basically do the same thing that we did when we created our chains and create a couple of loops. Let me adjust that camera so you can see better. So once again, I'm creating a loop. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drop my working yarn and move that first chain that I created over. And I'm going to tighten that up. Okay, and that's what we're going to do to bind off. So once again, we're going to take one of our links here, create that loop, put our arm through, and then we're going to tighten it up. Okay, drop the working yarn and grab that other one to pull over. And then we're going to tighten it back up. All right, so do it again. And we're going to pull that second one over. And then we're going to tighten it up. And I haven't quite used all three skeins of yarn either. I've still got a little bit left. Probably enough for a scarf. Alright, so we have 30 of these to do. So, when we finish that, we will just tie it off and weave our end through and we will be finished. So I am going to finish this up and then I will come back and show you some pictures for the end of the video so you can see what it looks like completely finished.